Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, is Steezy back again with another video. Hold up, hold up here. Let me just adjust these things. I should have done this before the video, I know. Um, I think this is good. Alright, this is good. One thing I just want to start off with is I want to apologize for not having my audio and visual linked because my camera has been and my talking have not been really linked that well. So I'll try to get that all fixed and sorted out. But in the meantime, you gotta bear with me and enjoy this gameplay. I'm gonna be talking about our live commentary. I'm gonna be talking about. Excuse me. I'm going to be talking about 5 versus 5 and the significant changes it has on the Call of Duty competitive scene. As we all know. As we all know, it has been confirmed, Call of Duty will be 5 vs 5 in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 competitively. I can't English, that second shot should have hit. Now let me tell you why it, um, sorry it's got check again. It's still a little bit high, hold up, give me one second. Alright, whatever, I'll just keep it right here. Um, now let me tell you why they, why I think they did it. This is, like, I, I didn't, like, see why they really tweeted out why they did it. I will have a video about all the information they released during their, li like, Treyar Treyarch's live stream. But, um, that's not this video. So I took a screenshot of all the information, and I don't have that screenshot on me right now. But I will in due time. So, firstly, bigger organizations will continue to grow and still be huge. And smaller organizations will continue to be small. And what do I mean by that is... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where do they go? And what do I mean by that is these bigger organizations have a lot of money and investments behind them. Like, and smaller organizations don't clearly but why is that a big deal because now every team every organization has to acquire an extra player and bigger organizations can take that hit but these small organizations that already aren't paying oh my goodness I'm burning things after me are, are already aren't paying the same amount as these bigger organizations they will just be hurting even more for example, the big organizations like Optic Gaming, it won't affect them at all because they already have like most of their contracts done with and they have a lot of income coming in, they have big investments behind them. Dude, how did I miss that shot on that other guy? Jeez, Louise. Chicken Breeze. Alright, just let me focus up real quick right here. So like I said, it won't affect all the gaming, but smaller teams like, honestly, I don't know, I, I think Rise doesn't have a good, they're not paying Splice. I don't know, some teams like, I think Splice isn't paying that well. Splice is paying people like $5,000 to $6,000 a month salary wise, and that was before they, it was confirmed that they had to add an extra player. Yeah, got people like the big organization like the rich guy who offered John can't remember what it was it was like 50 not 50,000 a year it was like two hundred thousand dollars for two years can't be that either two hundred thousand dollars a year so I, don't, I don't know but you got people that are paid way more than five to six thousand dollars a month is pretty much what I'm saying so the small organizations will get hurt a lot more because they have to spend a lot more money and that's money they don't have unless they acquire more investors and stuff but since they're not like well-known organizations it's hard for them to acquire big investors so that's how it affects it in the economy kind of way but um also the prize pools now Instead of sharing it, instead of sharing it between four people, you have to share it now between five people. So unless they have bigger prize pools, the players will be making less money for event earnings. But they do get paid salary, so 
it's a, like that part doesn't affect them too much, but again, they get affected salary wise because organizations probably now don't want to pay them as much because they have to pick up five people. So it does kind of affect players, I guess, a lot more than I assumed money wise. So those are, those are small things, and as we all know, Call of Duty competitively has been 4 versus 4 since the beginning of time. Since I started watching in Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, uh, it has been 4 versus 4 in competitive. Like, don't get me wrong, they have GB ladders that have always, it's always been like 4 versus 4 to 8 versus 8 for the team ladder, and you could actually get like a 5 versus 5 game. But no one did that, it was always 4 versus 4. And now it's 5 versus 5. Um, I can't remember if I said in this video, I tried recording this like 3 times before this video. But they did it to, like, Charg did it to grow the competitive community and to like get people knowing more about it. Because, as I think I said earlier in this video, League of Legends, Overwatch, and Counter-Strike all for 5 versus 5. So, they're trying to attract more people into competitive Call of Duty, which I support 100%. And they're trying to get the public match players more invested into competitive Call of Duty because they also made public matches 5 versus 5, which has always been 6 versus 6 in other game or in other games. And then other game modes of course have different 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 <laughs> different players. <laughs> for example, free for all is eight versus eight, and you have like some game modes where you can do five, four versus four, like team tactical or something in older Call of Duties. Well, that's besides the point. It's five versus five now in public matches, and now in competitive is also five versus five because I believe they are trying to attract more people to the competitive scene, which I fully support. I just don't know how it'll turn out. Like for example, five versus five hardpoint. Dude, that would be insane. Like, I find 4 versus 4 hardpoint is hectic already. Adding a whole nother player to that. That's just crazy. It really is. A, that's a lot of people. So I don't know what the game modes are or what they're going to do. But, for example, like, hardpoint will be crazy. And I'll be affected a lot by adding an extra player. Search and Destroy won't be affected as much. Like, of, of course, you'll have to change up, like, strategies and stuff. And making a one versus five will be way more difficult than just making a one versus four. But I still feel like I feel like five versus five search won't change too much. For example, Counter Strike is a lot like Search and Destroy, and they're five versus five, and they have no problems at all. But they do have like 16 rounds you have to win. Like you have to reach, like you have to win 16 rounds. And that's a lot of rounds. In Call of Duty right now it's only 6. So, that's what I'm saying though. Like game modes will be affected by this too. So I don't know what the competitive game modes are. I don't know if they're confirmed yet. I'll do my research and post it in my next video. that I talk, Where I talk about the Treyarch live stream if you missed it. If you didn't miss it, then just still come say hello and leave the video, like watch my gameplay or something. No. All views are supported by me. I don't know what the hell I meant by that. What I mean is thank anyone who watches my videos. The end. You know what sucks? Hit markers suck. <laughs> um, sorry, I kind of went quiet there. I was just focusing it up. So, the biggest thing I find for competitive is kind of money-wise, like for an organizations, for how much they have to pay their players now, and the prize pools and game modes, just all that good stuff. Gosh, dang it! I went 32 and nine. Oh my goodness, you two! This is the best I've ever done out of these four attempts. Hopefully I got my point across. If I didn't, ask any questions you want in my comments and I'll answer them in the comments back. I'll reply to every comment or I'll try to and or tweet at me at AO underscore Steezy and I'll reply to your tweet as best as I can. 
So five versus five is confirmed. Um, hopefully it goes well. Hopefully it can grow the community because Call of Duty does not get the amount of viewers as other games get. For example, League of Legends and Dota. I believe that's how you pronounce it. So Chark is just trying to grow the competitive scene and that's what I love to see. Hopefully Battle Royale can bring back some of its community back. And I think that's pretty much it. I went 32-9 and nine with two caps. I wasn't really trying to get caps because I was trying to make this video. I'm just going to end it now. I don't really have anything much more to say. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day or night, whatever time it is you guys are watching this at. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.